Coming up on this week's DizPod, we do a deep dive into Disney's Riviera Resort, and we play our very first game of Love Like Leave. Well, Ooh. we finally, we finally made it. You know, anybody that's listening to this, we'll get a little feedback on the other phone. Anybody listening to this on the replay will, won't realize, but uh, we apologize for everyone having to wait a little bit longer than usual. We had, we always have some kind of audio issue, and it's uh, always a test. Always a test, but we persevered. We made it through. We're back to our normal setup, which I think was our normal setup recently. So, yeah, I am here. It's good to be back on the channel. It's like, if anybody can notice, I've learned to compensate with my voice. So I think that we can get through this tonight without doing any further damage by kind of not getting too excited, just kind of letting it flow like i'm not projecting you know i kind of have an unofficial voice coach who i love to death it's my good friend krista who is a speech therapist and waited till yesterday to reach out to her but um she uh we and she and i chatted we texted and uh mm -hmm. yeah she definitely made me concerned yesterday where she's like you could develop nodules on your vocal cords. You need to stop talking. So I, I feel like I went quiet right after that at about 6 p.m. last night and just played some video games and watched some football preview stuff. Tried to be good. Today, I had work. Um, I mean, I really should have just stayed home one of these days or a couple of days, but I'm a worker. It's like I dedicate myself to work, I dedicate myself to this channel, and I just always feel like I'm letting people down. And I know that's not always the case, but um, I just, I'm old school. I feel like if you agreed to do something, then you've got to do it. And the funny thing was, the funny thing was, is that once a year, we all, a member of our staff has to do a health talk at a, <laughs> at, you know, at a facility. And wouldn't you know, yeah. my health talk landed this week, and it was today. And when the business person texted me and said, just a reminder, your health talk is tomorrow. I'm like, she is so not going to believe me. I text her, and I'm like, um, I have laryngitis. <laughs> She's like, you know what she said back? She goes, figure it out. <laughs> Here's an answer. All right. <laughs> I, I was like. I'm calling you so you can hear me. And I'm like, you know, I'll do my best. She's like, just show a video. So I showed a video. I talked for about 10 minutes and that was it. I saw my patients, um, tried to limit, but it's hard to limit when you're, <laughs> when you're, when you have to give instructions. So I've learned to compensate a little bit. I am much better. I like to say I'm better by percentages. So if yesterday was, Mm, 75%. Tammy kind of agreed. What do you what do you think I sound like now? I feel like I'm about 80. Yeah, I would say much better than um was that Tuesday that um that I saw you that it yeah, it sounded pretty bad. So, yeah, much better today. Um but definitely do not uh do not strain um today, but I can tell you I appreciate you doing the show tonight. We would have bumped it if we needed to, but uh you were ready to go, so here we are. Um, I know everybody in chat uh, certainly missed you uh, the last two nights because um, this was a three three night uh, stream or a three stream week, um, and I, I I know that they were looking for some LID. So here here we are. It it kills me. Um, one of my good friends, David and SC, who uh, has been a long time moderator with us always keeps in touch and he texted me specifically yesterday he's like i know how much this is killing you to call off a stream and i'm like yeah. you know me you know me very well um one thing i was thinking of so my goal is to be 100 percent for saturday 
And uh, and if I'm not, it's okay. The stream will go on. You'll just get a little bit more Tammy than me, but um, I'll try to take my usual role um, and have the stream as much as possible over there at Hollywood Studios. So um, I'll do my best to do that. So we're going on no matter what on Saturdays. So look forward to a good eight, nine-hour stream there for everybody. Um, but next week, I was looking at the schedule, and our next schedule Tuesdays, Wednesdays, it's two weeks from now, which kicks off on the 19th with the Halloween party. Um, and where we missed a couple of weeks in a row now, I said to Tammy the other day, yesterday, I'm like, you know what? We didn't have Tuesdays and Wednesdays last week. We had Thursdays, so at least it was something. So I don't want to promise, but if I'm feeling really good, I'm really considering doing back-to-back -back Tuesdays, Wednesdays, two weeks in a row. So... Wow. We'll we'll see how that goes. We'll we'll keep stay tuned. And by the way, I don't want to miss that super chat by living the dream in Orlando. He says Tammy's better at it anyway. <laughs> I, I, I can't I can't I can't laugh and talk. I can't laugh and talk. Isn't that funny? I just discovered that. So that is funny. Blast the chapel living in the dream, everybody, for $1.99. This is going to be weird for everybody to hear and see me like this. So he, let's go over our typical things right now. We have got this wonderful poo cup, and I am I think it's still sold in, in, in stores in Disney. It looks like a tree, and poo is coming out of it holding his honey and his his butt is on the other side and the the stirrer is like a honey love that a beehive thing isn't that great and i figured it was perfect for today i am drinking the tea that was brought over by Aaron from our Disney World fix again thank you so much Aaron for coming over the other night and checking in on me and i've been drinking that tea and i have honey in there so we're going to use that throughout the stream. My magic band of choice tonight is actually a slap band, and it is the Millennium Falcon with nice. a bunch of different characters. Yeah, it has the old kind of font of Star Wars, and we have um, uh, I can't. I'm looking at his. I'm looking at his face. I can't even. I can't. I'm, what's his face? What's his, the red guy? Yeah, it's Darth Maul. That's just a total blank. Yeah, so we get the bad guys, Vader and Kylo Ren, and we have R2, Chewie, BB-8, and uh, Yoda on the other side, and and just a big Millennium Falcon in the center, and it just slaps right on your wrist, so that's pretty awesome. And look at my shirt. This was my surprise. My shirt was my surprise to Lawrence. Um, this is the <laughs> one that was on a slow boat from China. Slow boat from China. It finally got yeah. here. It popped up on it as an ad on Instagram, and... The material is great. It's it's pretty soft. It's stretchy. Um, that definitely what I'm looking for in a shirt. So y'all like that in chat? I love this shirt. You can I could I could pin myself against the wall right now mm -hmm. in Haunted Mansion, and you might not see me. It's total camouflage. I look like the wallpaper in Haunted Mansion. And what do you what are you sporting That's, today? Well, what? that shirt came up in. Uh in my uh, Facebook uh, feed, and I almost got it. Um, uh, we might have worn it at the same time. I'm kind of plain today, not a Disney uh, shirt, just a red uh, Hawaiian shirt. Um, Breaking have, the mold. I know, I have a couple of them. I have worn non-Disney Hawaiian shirts on the show before, um, and I have a few of them, but I did just get two more Disney Hawaiian shirts. Uh, they came in yesterday, put them in the closet. Catherine hasn't even seen them. So, uh, uh, so we'll see. We'll, we'll break those out, uh, in, in the next couple of weeks. When we're off the pod, you got to show them to me. Be well, unless you want to surprise me too, but if it doesn't matter, you got to show me before Catherine sees them. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll do. you know, to quickly address something, hello, shift leader. Hello, everyone. I'm always watching your comments while we're live. We may not acknowledge you all as much as I like to be tentative to you um, while we're in the parks, but um, I see most of your stuff and um, keep, keep the chat rolling. Uh, shift manager a moment ago said that the new barges of the new Epcot show is half the size of harmonious barges and the barges will not be on the lagoon all day. Um, I'm not sure where you got that information, 
But I have spoken many times before that I got to um, hang out for a short time with the head of decorating in all Disney parks, in his mom's home with him, in her kitchen. And we discussed a lot of things. I had a long list of things to ask him. And um, one of the things was he was ticked off when he found out that those barges for Harmonious were not moving. That was not part of the plan. Somehow that changed. So I can see that being a point of emphasis of his. And maybe he influenced that. And Disney does listen to, to, to guests. So probably a combination of those things. Uh, Disney realized we need to get make these barges movable this time. Yeah. If I think Harmonious would have been so much uh, better received had the barges moved. Um, now, I don't know the, the logistics, especially the one in the middle. I mean, that thing is huge. Moving that in and out every day, how long would that have taken? So I guess that's why they decided not to do it. Um, I have seen pictures of the new barges. Um, somebody did like an aerial shot of it. So I am getting very excited. I, uh, I did tell Corey earlier this week, um, D23 is this weekend. So my feeling is that we will hear the announcement of what the new Epcot show is on Sunday, because Sunday, I think it's about at five o'clock, there is one of the segments is um, Epcot, always in a state of um, uh, progression. So um, hopefully that gets announced then. So we'll see. Yeah, I can't, can't wait to check out all the news coming out of D23. Yeah. So... We can also uh, say that um, the previews for Moana Journey or Journey of Water inspired by Moana is coming uh, very soon. We got that notification that the annual pass holder preview will be the end of September, the beginning of uh, October. Luckily, my trip is October 3rd, um, so either October 3rd or 4th, uh, I will be looking to preview that. <laughs> You're going to be pushing it, my friend, but you'll get in just in time because it goes from September 24th to the 29th and October 1st to the 4th. Yeah, so we are excited. Uh, so September 24th is a Sunday, so um, we'll get in there as well. The 24th through the 29th. So does that even touch the weekend? The 24th. It doesn't. It doesn't touch the weekend. Yeah. Darn you, Disney. Darn you. Oh, wow. So, you know, that becomes a question for the family because are they going to want to come out, especially during the week, to do this? Being the nature of what it is, probably not. Maybe they'll just roll the dice and try to see it on a normal Saturdays. So I may be going on my own for that. Um, booked October 1st for my pass holder preview. Oh, Wait a minute, though. I'm confused by that, said Goofy Guy. We, you don't book it, though, right? I think he's saying that he 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 probably reserved his... Uh, park oh, his Epcot. Yeah. yeah, and so everybody knows you do have to have a park reservation for that day to be allowed to go in. Yep, yeah. Sundays through Wednesdays, for sure. Yeah, so I'll discuss that with Tammy later, and uh, we'll figure out when... Uh, we'll go and preview that on the channel for nice. sure. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Jill's going to be there. Alicia. Oh. Floor. Oh, nice. Um, Alicia in the chat said, uh, yeah, I read about that. Barges weren't supposed to move for Harmonious, but when COVID hit, it all changed. Darn COVID. Mm -hmm. Changed the world. Yeah. All right. So, um, what else is going on in the world of you had some we had some other news to discuss didn't we something else that came across recently oh yeah um yeah i'm wondering if you're gonna go so they recently announced and recently uh, probably two days ago that they are doing a pass holder special over at the espn um uh, worldwide sports area um special for pass holders uh special merchandise that hasn't been released to the public. And then there's also going to be um, discounted merchandise up to 60%. 
Um, so that that should be should be kind of interesting to see because I I don't know that they've done that before. Do you? Um, I'm going to say as long as I've been a pass holder that this is a brand new thing, and uh, it's it's good. You know, we I've been calling for th- extra things for pass holders. You know, I, we think Disney needs to do more for pass holders, and this is another step in the right direction. Um, it's going to be held at the ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex, and it'll be early access to purchase new trading pins and Pandora charms. Uh, you'll have a chance uh, to purchase Epcot Reimagined Pandora Charms Journey into Imagination with Figment Pandora Charms, Minnie Mouse Bride Pandora Charm, Grogu, Rose Gold Pandora Charm, access to a special Pandora Charm just for Walt Disney World Resort pass holders. And uh, pass holders will also have access to 60% off select merchandise, including select apparel, 50th anniversary merchandise, lounge fly items, and Dunia Burke fashions. And there'll be photo opportunities as well. Special food and beverages available for purchase. Those dates and times are September 20th to September 23rd. And it goes from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. daily. There is a virtual queue for that event. Uh, pass holders will need to use the My Disney Experience app, and the good thing is you don't have to be there to get in the queue. But I think you have to arrive two hours. You have two hours to arrive. Okay. So similar to May 4th, the, the queue for that uh, store. <clears throat> exactly. Same, same procedure, it sounds like. So uh, given those dates, once again, what did I say those dates were? I think, I think they're during the week again. So... Being, you say the twenty third, September twentieth, September twentieth. Is a th- no, wait, no, September twentieth is a Wednesday. Oh yeah, the twenty third is a Saturday. Yeah, <sighs> you know, that is probably gosh, that's probably something that uh, I need to send Tammy to, mm. and. She's gonna have to get there in the morning, like after, after sending Jacob to school, yeah. uh, dropping him off. I think that she might have to go there, so we'll have to talk about that for sure. Yeah, that's true. Because if you wait till the twenty third, that's the last day. Who knows what's gonna be left? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Very good. There was one one other announcement uh, was came out today a teaser of a new pass holder magnet. So. Um, it's in black and white, kind of gives you a Steamboat Willie feel, uh, but it was just a teaser, so we don't know for sure. Some people saying could be Steamboat Willie, could be uh, Oswald. So one, one, or, one or the other, but it's in black and white, or at least the teaser was, so I, th- I think it's, I'm, I'm guessing Steamboat Willie. What do y'all think in chat? Uh, Steamboat Willie or... Um, Oswald, what would I rather have? I, lo- I love Steamboat Willie. Steamboat Willie. We need a Steamboat Willie meet and greet. And I'm going to keep saying that in the parks. <laughs> we need a Steamboat Willie meet and greet. Does Disneyland do that? They do Oswald. I don't think they do a Steamboat Willie meet and greet. I don't think so. That would but be a good meet one. and greet at, um, at Hollywood Studios. Absolutely. I mean, he's one of my favorite characters to see when... Uh, the boat comes out at the end of yes. Fantasmic. Yes. My eyes are mostly on Steamboat Willie for sure. Yeah. 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 So. Uh, <laughs> I see that living the dream. I see that living the dream. <laughs> <laughs> some of the, ASMR. Some of, younger, some of the younger viewers have no idea. <laughs> ASMR. Yeah. ASMR with Living in Diz tonight. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um. So uh, last week, our uh, show was mainly focused on uh, NC Disneyana and what was it. Um, And so I got the chance to go on Saturday. Uh, Catherine, Finley, and I went, and it was everything that I thought it would be and more. Um, The amount of pins was crazy. I've never seen this amount of pins. Um, In fact... 
uh, I can I took some video, so I'll be able to show you that. Uh, let's see. I'm 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 driving a little bit, folks. So just so you know, <laughs> he uh, is he is. So this was the uh, floor. So on the left hand side, you can see the um, vendors, and then the middle was the trading. So that was all the trading tables, just folks just trading different pins. I mean, it was absolutely crazy. Um, just never thought I would see that much. And then they also had stuff for the kids to enjoy. So they did a nice little sing along with a bunch of different songs. Uh, obviously, you can see princesses were there. They took pictures uh, with the kids. It was it was really a fun uh, a fun event. And I took some pictures of some of the items that uh, that caught my eye. So lots of lounge flies, because I thought it was just going to be, you know, pin trading. But there were lots of lounge flies there uh, to purchase. Uh, you also had collectibles. Corey, don't look at the top left-hand side. Those are mugs. Get away from those. <laughs> um, there's lots of plates. They even had magic bands. You can even see um, popcorn buckets there. And then you had these, uh, so, so there were a lot of vendors there that had a lot of vintage stuff. There was one lady who had a tin that actually had the cookies that's, that were in the original tin from 1999. Um, and then you have like these old lunch boxes from, you know, years and years ago. And then you even have pins that were up to $350. So very rare stuff, um, but it was just a, just a great event. Um, and I'm, I'm excited to see next year now that it's growing and it's going to be in a different location. One thing I didn't realize is a lot of those vendors come from Florida. I thought this was just going to be very local. No, a lot of those vendors who are coming up from Florida and they travel to the different Disney on shows all, all around the country. So it was, it was quite interesting, quite interesting. Yeah, we, we enjoyed it. Wow. I mean, just looking at that show floor. Uh, I don't know how long you spent there, but I could just see a pin trader spending all day there and having a ton of fun and really impressed by how they kept the kids busy, you know, with the sing-alongs and other activities. And like you said, I didn't expect, you know, that there'd be lounge flies and collector plates. And um, man, that's an impressive event. Good job, Elizabeth. I like yeah. that. Yeah, it was, I, I was really happy she was there. We spent a couple minutes really quickly because, uh, of course, she's running the whole show. Um, but I did get to uh, to talk to her really quickly. But it was it was really a lot of fun. I could see folks really spending. They, they sell <clears throat> single-day tickets and two-day tickets. And there were a lot of two-day tickets sold. And I could see why. Because like you said, some pin traders may go on Sunday but then or, or Saturday. And then some may go on Sunday. And people don't want to miss out, so they go on both days. Yeah, a nice event. Wow. Maybe we need to live stream that next year. Uh, I after seeing it, I thought I thought about that. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll we'll play around with that idea. Yeah, yeah, that could be something fun for the the Diz fam to see. If yeah. y'all are interested, we can go live over there. It'll be a bigger venue next uh, next year. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, looking forward to it. <clears throat> so uh, I thought this uh, show could be a little uh, different. So we're going to be a little more interactive. Um, so uh, Allison, if you're in here, this will be a little different than the princess uh, show. You are allowed to answer right away. She was, I don't know if you saw it, but when we did the Disney trivia, the princess trivia, yeah. she was jumping in the chat, uh, and giving away the no. answers. But you no. didn't see him, so that's good. <laughs> So we're gonna play a game of love, like, leave. So I'm gonna give you three items and you have to decide which you would love, which you would like, and which one you would get rid of, which one you would leave. <clears throat> okay. All right. Uh, so let's see, the first one, probably an easy one, I think. Your choices are Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, Everest, and Tron. Okay, so I have to love, like, and leave one. 
Yeah. I am going to love Cosmic Rewind. I am going to like Everest, and I am going to leave Tron. Ooh, okay. I would yes. have said Cosmic Rewind, love, Tron, like, and Everest, leave. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, yeah. Everest, Everest has always been one of my favorites. It's not that they're not all unique in their own way, but uh, the theming of Everest, I love how the track runs out. You get to see the view and um it it's fat it go you know it goes backwards and up in the dark and sideways whatever it is and i just like everything i like everything about everest way more than tron i think i think tron i've grown to love it you know i love it now um or like it a lot i don't know if i love it I, maybe i love it i don't know but <laughs> it's certainly third on my list anyway okay all right Where, where's where's the where's a little bit of the hate for everest for you um, I don't, um, maybe a little bit in the backwards, uh, throws me off a little bit. Um, whereas Tron and Guardians, even though Guardians turns, I don't get any sort of weird feeling or, um, you know, wooziness or anything like that. And I don't really do, I mean, you saw me on Velocicoaster, I was fine, but, uh, just a little hair on, on, uh, Everest. So for okay. me, where that would be. All right. Okay. So next category, we're going to hit to the resorts. Pop Century, Art of Animation, and Port Orleans. So I have to say, boy, you know, Port Orleans is so different from those other two. I'm going to love Art of Animation because it is... If not my favorite, it's one of my favorite of all the Disney resorts. Pop is great. Port Orleans has such a nice feel. But I think I'm going to to like Pop and leave Port Orleans. I'd agree with you there. I like the theming on Pop more than Port Orleans. So for me, it would be art, uh, love, like Pop, and leave Port Orleans. Yeah. Yeah, and they're all great, but uh, I I I just love theming, and I yeah. I love the I love the over theming maybe of those other two. Aaron said he's going to disown me for my uh, Everest comment. <laughs> I saw that. Uh, I saw that. Uh, all right, so we are going to head to the water. This will be an interesting one: pirates, jungle cruise, and small world. All right. I I was going to say this is tough because Small World is a classic. Um, I love it. The song does not irritate me, nor do I get sick of it, no matter how many times I go on it. I know it's the butt of a lot of jokes, um, and I get it. And I was even once stuck on Small World for <laughs> actually twice, once for 20 minutes where the, the music continued on. And of course we were stuck on it for an hour where they turned the music off and we did that live. So you can always go back and watch that and see how they got us out of there. But um, it's easily Love Pirates. I'm gonna say, boy, this is tough. I'm a Jungle Cruise fan, but I'm not a huge Jungle Cruise fan. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, in a tight one. I think I'm going to love Jungle Cruise and leave Small World. That's mm. tough. That's that tough. tough. Yeah, yep. Um, for me, love pirates. You know, I'm gonna change it. Can I change it? I'm gonna switch it. It doesn't feel right. I got. I just gotta. <laughs> I gotta love Small World and leave Jungle Cruise. Leave Jungle Cruise. That, that's where yeah. I'm at. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Uh, like uh, Small World, leave Jungle Cruise, yeah. Thank you, everyone in chat, for participating. These are great. All right, we are getting a little hungry, so we're going to head to a restaurant. Cinderella's Royal Table, Be Our Guest, or Akashus? Okay, so just to let everyone know who's not super familiar of them, and um, let's see, Cinderella's Royal Table is the most expensive 
um, of the character meals, I believe. I think it does outprice every one of them, even though with credits it's two, but I could be off. But Cinderella's Royal Table is where you get to meet the princesses in Cinderella's Castle. Mm -hmm. And Be Our Guest is where you get to go to Beast Castle. You get to dine in several areas. You can dine in the, would you call it the dance hall? And or you can you can dine in the the Rose Room or in the West Wing. West Wing. It's beautiful theming. I mean, come on, in Cinderella's Royal Table, you're you're in the castle. That's so magical. Mm -hmm. In Ocker Shoes, um, Ocker Shoes probably. You know what? Ocker Shoes has my has the best menu in my opinion out of all three. Yes, I haven't been there. I've been to the other two. Uh, I haven't been. Yes. Okay. I'd probably rank them. I'd probably rank them backwards. Ocker Shoes be our guest, and Cinderella's Royal Table being number three as far as menu goes, and for the bang for your buck, um, you can meet princesses in Ocker Shoes, and of course, be, be our guest isn't isn't a huge meet and greet. You don't really All get right. to meet Belle. You don't really get to meet the Beast. The kind of just the Beast just kind of floats through. And to be honest, I don't even think you see Belle. You don't. How you strange don't. is that? How I strange know. is that? <laughs> I know. So strange. I guess they're relying on just the. <laughs> Kathy says Ocker Shoes by a mile. Kathy and I feasted over there. It was <laughs> great. Um, so we're going to rank them now. We are going, because you, you got to take in the account of atmosphere on this one, and you got to take in to account the food mm -hmm. and the characters. So this really is the one of the tougher choices. So. I suppose if you're like pick one right now, which one would you would you like to go to right now? Um, I guess I'm gonna go. Wow, <laughs> I'm gonna. Okay, so you can meet plenty of princesses in Harker shoes. The atmosphere is the least best, but it's the best menu. Uh, gun to my head. Um, gosh, I'm going to say be our guest. I'm going to love it. I'm going to like Ocker Shoes, and I'm going to leave Cinderella's Royal Table. Oof. I couldn't wow. even, I needed, I needed more time to talk that one out. I mean, <laughs> um, man, for me, so I haven't been to Ocker Shoes, so I can't leave it because I don't, haven't experienced it yet. So for me, that's going to be my like. And I'm going to say, like you said, the menu, the atmosphere, meeting the characters, the princesses, put Cinderella's Royal Table, and you're sitting in the castle uh, as my love, and I'm going to leave Be Our Guest. The food was okay. You don't get much of the, um, the experience for me. It's just beasts coming by, waving. So for me, that was a, that's a leaf. Yeah. I mean, boy, you could spend a whole podcast on this. There's so much back and forth <laughs> with yeah, this. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to uh, do some of uh, Corey's favorite rides here. All the spinning ones. <laughs> so Astro Orbiter. Oh, Dumbo, fun. And Aladdin's Flying Carpet. Now they're all very oh, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, this one is pretty quick. So basically, it's deciding between, okay, Dumbo's a classic. So we're going to love Dumbo. We're going to like Aladdin's Flying Carpet. And we are going to totally ditch, dump, divorce <laughs> Astro Orbiter. And I am not paying the child support on those rockets. <laughs> I am 100% with you. Um, uh, same. Dumbo is a classic. Aladdin's. That is actually the only attraction I have not done at um, uh, at Magic Kingdom. So I'll have to do that in October. Um, Astro Orbiter just didn't do it for me. Did it once. It is uncomfortable, you know, because you're not side by side. You're front and back. Um, it's just odd. And you have to go up in the elevator to get up there. It's just, yeah. If the perfect storm happens, we will get Jillian up there to live stream it for you all at Magic on the Saturdays when, uh, if it's not long of a wait at some point, we'll get you all up there. Nice. Theo says dump Astro. 
yeah. don't even like the elevator. <laughs> Dion- <laughs> and Dianca agrees as well. Uh, <clears throat> all right, so now we're going to talk about conveniences. Magic bands, mobile ordering, or Genie Plus. In their current states. In the current states. Yeah. Well, like I mean, so I think when you answer this, you have to uh, consider, you got to pretend that you're using all three, you know, because we don't use Genie Plus right now, but we do plan on using it in the future. Uh, so Magic Bands, what are they? Con- yeah, I mean, they're very convenient. We use them quite often. And otherwise, you'd have to take out a card, you know, of some type or your phone. So those are very convenient. You pro- And mobile ordering, I love mobile ordering. Uh, we love it. We look to mobile order whenever we can. Um, Genie Plus can be very helpful. Um, I'd probably say... I mean, we, we've had our druthers about Genie Plus, right? Because you have to kind of pay for something you didn't have yeah. to pay for before. But it is what it is, and it's here now. So at the current state of what it's at, um, I'll just say Magic Bands are more convenient. And then I'll go, I'm just going to go mobile ordering, and I will leave Genie Plus. So in that order, as we see them. Love oh. love Magic Bands, like mobile ordering, and... Uh, We'll dump Genie Plus for now. Um, For me, I love Magic Bands. Very convenient. Um, I think mobile ordering, if I'm looking at just convenience, I think mobile ordering is a like and Genie Plus is a leave. Because mobile ordering is pretty straightforward, whereas Genie Plus, there's a lot to it. Here's something that, um, and I like to say things while we're out in the parks of suggestions for um, for Disney and uh, a friend of mine who I haven't talked to her in a while, but um, who is higher up in Disney. Um, she hasn't asked me in a while uh, what I think of certain things, but um, I should let her know that with mobile ordering, one thing that could be better is for those who need specialty orders, like can we customize these things yes a, a, a great example is when we go to abc commissary in hollywood studios jacob and i can just up and order what we want to order but tammy has to stand in line because she wants a plain chicken sandwich and right. not all the fixings on it so you should be able to tap no 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 we did see that at universal studios islands of adventure on saturdays this no on sunday when we were there and Tammy was able to check no, no, no on um, one of our orders, which really helped. Yeah, you're you're 100 percent right. It's not um, allergen friendly. Not that the park isn't. The park is. The, but like you said, she'll have to go stand in line to do that. If they switch that up, I think they've got a winner for sure. For sure. All right, so we're gonna go shopping creations. World of Disney and the Emporium. All right. Uh, I mean, the Emporium is the Emporium, but wow, World of Disney is pretty big. Um, man, it's how can I'm just going to make it easy for myself. How can you rule out World of Disney as a love? I mean, it's the biggest Disney store in the world, so you got to go mm-hmm. World of Disney. There's something special about shopping at the Emporium on Main Street, though, for nostalgia. But the, even the Emporium isn't going to have everything World of Disney has. Right. So we're going to go love World of Disney, like Emporium, and um, leave Creations because they can change that name. I still can't remember it to this day. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Um, I, we don't. I think we shop more at World of Disney and Emporium than we do Creations. It's a nice store, um, but like you said, World of Disney certainly the biggest, and the Emporium is a classic. Um, so yeah, I would I'd be right there with you too. A lot of people are leaving World of Disney because it is just way too busy, and it is a madhouse. I, I have to agree with that. It is a madhouse in there. Yeah. 
seemingly at all times. Yeah, I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't imagine working there. I did a lot of years in retail. Uh, I could. I could not imagine working there. Um, all right, so we're going to do some classic rides. Carousel of Progress, People Mover, Haunted Mansion. These are all great ones. I love them all. But if we have to make decisions, then we're going to go love Haunted Mansion. We're going to like Carousel of Progress and leave the People Mover. Hold on. I've got to pick myself up off the floor. We're leaving People Mover. We wow. have to make it. We we have to make tough choices here, son. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Carousel of Progress is there's so much history there. Um, it's it it it. I guess it, it's just that much better than People Mover. When you boil it down, People Mover, you know, you're riding high above. It's great. You ride through, you know, different attractions. But mm-hmm. I would rather, I would rather keep Carousel of Progress. Progress. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're going to go to grab uh, a classic snack, Mickey pretzel, Mickey ice cream bar, or an ice cream sandwich. Oh, this is so easy. This is so easy. <laughs> Mickey, Mickey ice cream bar. We're going to love them. We're going to like the Mickey pretzel. And we're going to leave the ice cream sandwich. I can't even understand the ice cream sandwich with all of you people. Uh, <laughs> any of you people that that buy an ice cream sandwich in Disney World, you're nuts, okay? You're crazy. What's up with that? You might as well just go off and buy a peanut butter and jelly sandwich as well because an ice cream sandwich is an ice cream sandwich, dear God. Are you kidding me? Oh, that infuriates me. Ice cream sandwiches. I don't care if it's shaped like a Mickey. Nope. <laughs> Took my stand. Uh, yeah, it's, he's, he's, uh, he's taking his stand for sure. He's got a soapbox right there. So I, I would agree Mickey ice cream bar, uh, love Mickey pretzel like, and the ice cream sandwich leave. Yeah. <coughs> just something about <laughs> it. This doesn't do it for me. No, it's just an ice cream sandwich. It's like when Neil gets excited about the hi-ho Sunday when it was out, it was chalk. It was good. Yeah, but I can make that. I can any one of us can make that from our our freezer right now. Scoop of chocolate yeah. ice cream, hot fudge, and some strawberries. Come on now. <laughs> what was it? Doreen says I love ice cream sandwiches. It's okay to love ice cream sandwiches, Doreen. Just don't love them in Disney. There's way too many other things. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're gonna head to a resort, and it's gonna be a classic. Well, some of them are. The Poly, Grand Floridian, and Contemporary. I would buy a Wookiee cookie before I would buy an ice cream sandwich <laughs> in Disney. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's the truth. Oh, man. That's oh, the truth, man. baby. Okay. What, 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 what if you had the ice cream sandwich with some Casey's water? Would that make it better? <laughs> <sighs> man, that's the worst water in Disney. I mean, there's there's water that is on par with. I like to point that out when we're live. I like to point that out to our viewers. You know which water is good and which isn't because there are areas where free water is good and there are other areas where it isn't. So I like to point that out. So if we're going Polly, Grand Floridian, and Contemporary, I am going. You ready for this? I'm gonna love the Polly. Mm-hmm. I'm going to like the Grand Floridian and I'm going to leave the Contemporary. Why? Why leave the Contemporary? I'm glad you asked. Um, so, uh, yeah, you know, the Contemporary is a classic, but I feel like the grounds of Contemporary are the least impressive. Mm. Um if I want to spend a day at a resort, I'd rather spend it at the Poly or the, or the Grand Floridian. Um, it's very basic in design. I, again, I know it's very historic, but if we're talking about comparing these, um, I would definitely um, uh, keep that as, as the leave. Uh, the, rooms, the rooms are cool looking. 
it's great. The great, the contemporary is great, but I have to put a third with these. That's tough for me. So, uh, so I haven't stated any of the three, um, but I would say Polly. Um, I think Grand Floridian is a like, and Contemporary is a leave for me also. Um, just because, you know, like you said, you look at the Grand Floridian and, and the grounds, they're very different than the Contemporary. Um, we haven't done a deep dive on Grand Floridian yet, but yeah, I would say, um, I would say Contemporary would be a leave for me. All right, uh, should we do one more? Let's do one more. Let's find one more. I don't know if this is going to be easy or hard for you. Where'd it go? Hold on, I'm finding it. Here it is. All right, ready? We're going to snack again. Popcorn, dough whip, <laughs> Wookie cookie. <laughs> we know what Neil would say. So this this is easy. As great as the popcorn is in Disney World, we're going to go Dole Whip. Love the Dole Whip. Like the popcorn. Ditch the Wookiee cookie. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, yeah that, was, that was my idea, too. <laughs> Dole Whip, you have so many flavors. You can get different flavors um, at different uh, spots. Popcorn is always great in, um, in, in Disney World. I don't know what it is. Um, and the Wookiee cookie, we, we all know our feelings about that. So, except for Neil. <laughs> yes, exactly. Very cool. So that was, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. We'll have, we'll have to do that from time to time. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you chat for, uh, for jumping in there too, uh, with some of your answers. That's awesome. Yes, for sure. Disney Dina says the per the popcorn is the perfect snack for those on a budget. Cause you yes. can refill at reasonable prices. We even do that too. You know, if we're a little bit of hungry, if we're a little bit hungry, we want something to hold us off until dinner. We'll get that popcorn as well. Jill says leave um, popcorn. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, everybody blast the chat for Steve Bullock, who just dropped a random Diz Club or Lit Club membership, and it was picked up by Alicia. Congratulations. Hey. Name highlighted in green, and she gets use of those exclusive emojis. Congratulations. Very nice. Thank you. And thank you so much, Steve and Tony. Thank um, you, thank you. All right. You want to take over for the resort deep dive, if I can find my notes? Okay. Well, I don't have the details on it, so. Um, you just go in order. Just go in order. All right. So we're going to click on it. Oh, you mean yeah. for this? So you're going to give us the information and I'm going to uh, throw, up the, throw up the photos? Yeah. Perfect. I got you. Very nice. Look at that. So, uh, yeah. So, Are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. So the Riviera um, is inspired by Europe and obviously imagined by Disney. It's located in the Epcot and Hollywood Studios area. It's the 15th DVC resort and the first standalone one built in over eight years. So it had been a while um, to build this one. It opened in um, December of 2019 and has 300 rooms ranging from the cozy tower studios to a spacious villa, all the way up to three bedrooms. It features um, art and decor that reflects the style and culture of Europe, as well as the influence of Walt Disney's travel there. You have a rooftop restaurant called Topolino's Terrace, which offers flavors of the Riviera and views of the fireworks. Uh, we know one thing about Topolino's, you need to make sure that you tip well, uh, or else Donald will come get you. Uh, and if you haven't seen that, uh, short on LID, you need to go look at it because it's probably the funniest thing I've seen in a long time. <laughs> oh, that's right. I, I was supposed to download that. I did not do that. Okay. Um, but, but yeah, go to our channel, like, uh, 
uh, Lawrence said, and go to our shorts and look up the Donald Duck one if you haven't seen it. That is that is some of my best work ever on this channel. <laughs> yeah, he was, oh man, Donald was oh, so good. I watched it a couple times last week just in, in prep of this one. And uh, yeah, he was, he was really good. Um, <clears throat> so you do have the uh, dedicated station for the Skyliner. So this resort has its own Skyliner uh, station. Other than that, you have bo uh, excuse me, buses um, to get back and forth from the parks and Disney Springs. But I'm telling you, the Skyliner has got to be the best mode of transportation as long as it's not uh, thundering out or lightning out. The rooms themselves, you have the tower uh, studio, uh, which is, uh, it'll sleep two guests and it has a foldable bed. Um, so similar to the, um, the value resorts, but obviously uh, much more upscale. Those will range, um, the prices seem to range from about 450 to about 750. Then you have the deluxe studio. So that's a larger room that'll sleep up to five because you have two uh, queen beds and then you have a single uh, pull down bed. You have standard or preferred view of the courtyard, the lake, the landscaping, pool, or the skyliner. That'll range from 650 to about 1200. You have a one bedroom villa that'll sleep up to five guests with a king size bed, queen size pull down bed, and a single. But this one will give you a full kitchen, washer and dryer, uh, and even a whirlpool tub. That'll range up to 1700. <clears throat> Is that the one that uh, you stayed in? No, we stayed in a deluxe studio. So if we bring it back one, that's okay. where we stayed there. So full disclosure, uh, Jacob slept on this pullout here, hmm. right there. Um, this table and chairs up here, uh, we actually pulled that to the front of the like the front of the the room and blocked the not block the uh, the doorway because that would be a fire hazard. We we tucked it in a little alcove there and we made room for a blow up bed there. Joe likes blow up beds, so okay. um, and Tammy and I took the the pull out there and Kathy, the queen she is, got to sleep on that big <laughs> queen or king bed there, and uh, of course she deserves it because she is DVC and she invited us to stay. And, um, you know, she, she, she figured she can't, she can't have that room all to herself. We, she needed to fill it. So we're, we're good friends with Kathy. So she was gracious enough to, uh, invite us along and it was, it's a beautiful room and, uh, yeah, continue. Very nice. Uh, and then you have the two bedroom villa, obviously larger and sleeps up to nine. And then you have a three bedroom grand villa which will sleep up to 12, has king bed, four queen beds, queen sleeper sofa, full kitchen, washer dryer, two whirlpool tubs, and that one has a lake view. Um, I'm telling you, can you go back to that, that bathroom picture? That is, where in Disney World are you saying that has a bathroom like that? It's just, that's incredible. That's, that's mind blowing right there. I mean, <laughs> that that is unbelievable and i you know to go back to the deluxe studio um where it's not pictured i was blown away at the bathroom setup because the bathroom has two showers a full tub shower and then mm -hmm. across the room is a glass shower like the one we see here wow but you with with a sink and everything on one side toilet on the other and you can pull the divider between them if you know there's there's people staying in the room where you don't want to. We want some mm. privacy where one is showering on one side and one is showering on the other. Wow. And then as far as recreation, you do have uh, swimming pools. Obviously, you have a fitness center. Um, they have a bocce ball court and they do movie nights. So this is one, uh, and then Catherine said it in chat that we are looking forward to staying in at some point. Um, I think we would probably stay here before we would, um, you know, some of the others like Grand Floridian or maybe even Contemporary, because this one just gives you just such a nice feel uh, and the decor 
and I definitely want to eat at uh, Topolino's. Now, you had breakfast? Yes, we had breakfast at Topolino's, and I don't. Be I believe that's the only character interaction at night. I don't think there's character interaction. Uh, okay, got it, got it. Yeah, and it, right. it's a great one. It's a menu that is not buffet style or family style. Mm -hmm. So you're ordering off the menu a la carte, I guess, right? Just for yourself. Right. And what we had, the food was, was amazing all the way around. I mean, if you're just ordering Mickey waffles, scrambled eggs, and sausage, you can't expect the world. It is right. what it is. But um, just the meals that everyone else got that you know at that breakfast were all incredible i think we rated them five out of fives so nice. if y'all want to see that look up topolino's uh breakfast on our channel and you can see donald in full length and all the other characters were awesome too great great interactions there um so we stayed like i said we stayed there uh this past saturday night and it's a beautiful resort as soon as you walk in, it smells beautiful. There's there's uh, a lot of water outside, um, waterfalls, really, really beautiful there. And a uh, very spacious lobby, has a great grand staircase that goes downstairs. And if you're looking at like the recreational things, like if we look at the map here, you look at the recreational things and letter E there is the quiet pool. And the normal pool is G down there at the bottom. And it's not that big of a pool. Like the main pool is not even that big. And the kids have um, an interactive water splash play area. Um, I only went in the uh, quiet pool this time because the regular area opened at 10 a.m. And we had to start checking out for 11. So I went down early. And there's also a hot tub in the quiet pool area. And on the back end of this pool, I just kind of relaxed there with my arms up on the wall. And the sights I saw, you wouldn't believe, it was basically this. I could see yeah. the Skyliner running. I could see some of um, Caribbean Beach. It was really relaxing. And I, I'm like, I just can't believe I'm like in the water in a pool and I can just watch these things you know, and relax from that point. So yeah. we did that. We did have lunch. We missed breakfast from, from checking out. So we went over in the 11 o'clock hour, we went over to Bar Riva and I could have sat there for hours. It's so relaxing. Mm. Um, it has three walls. The open air wall area just faces the pool and they have some nice high top booths Mm -hmm. with chairs and the menu is limited but i had a great burger jacob had the italian um no the turkey sandwich which was on uh, a really nice bread had good taste some hot peppers some other things really well done, done. kathy had a big salad um, so we really enjoyed our meals there and the the atmosphere was very relaxing just very chill. Nice. They had some sports on, and uh, we, hung, we hung out there for a little bit. That was good. And the gift shop has some of the most resort-specific merch we've seen. Um, because, you know, I feel like when you stay at a resort, you should be able to choose between multiple shirts, beach towels, keychains, magnets, bags, lounge flies, T-shirts, whatever, spirit jerseys. They had plenty there. So uh, we were happy with that. I actually bought a bag, which I love. It just looks like an old time bag that you would have used in like the 20s. And I love it. Um, says says the name of the resort on it. It's dark nice. blue with, with brown leather edges. So we'll use that to uh, go on our staycations and wherever we go um, for sure. What else can I say about this place there was one other thing i wanted to mention um you know one thing i don't like i'll tell you one thing i don't like me how can i say this i guess if you're conscious of this um basically what happened was i woke up in the morning 
Jacob had sat out on the balcony when I was going to sleep and he didn't shut the blinds. So when I woke up, um, I was definitely decent. I mean, Kathy's in the room and all that. Um, but I'm like spread out, mouth open, and I finally cracked my eyes open. And because we were on a corner, our room was on a corner, so it was mm -hmm. cornered with other balconies. And I don't even know if they saw me, but I cracked my eyes open and I looked up one floor and there were two women sitting, chatting with each other <laughs> directly right there. And I'm like, if they could see in, they've seen me uh, like this mouth open, you know, like Anna, but on coronation yeah. day, yeah. drooling yeah. on my pillow. I'm like, oh my gosh, this isn't cool. <laughs> so... It's a little too close when you're on the corner. So you might want to ask to not be on the corner and maybe more central awesome. or something like that. Or just close your, your shades, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, but we loved it. I'd love to stay there again. I think we will stay there again in, in, in time. And uh, it was the first time staying there. And, of course, if you're in Topolinos, you can go way to the top. And there's a rooftop view, view where you can see just about anything. Awesome. Yeah, uh, and you went out there during that stream, so I do remember that um, those views are just just amazing. Just amazing. we did. Um, one side note that I can mention is Corey. Don't forget about all the memorabilia. Oh yes, that's right. Thank you. So I do. That's the other thing I want to mention. So the memorabilia there is unbelievable. There's a great coffee shop there. We tried some coffees. I compared their s'mores cold brew compared to the hot coffee or latte and i liked the cold one better than the hot mm -hmm. um and the only reason why i had both was she made a cold one by accident when i wanted the hot so she's like you can just have it and i'm like but i won't drink them both she's like just <laughs> take it she goes give it to somebody so we ran over to epcot for a little bit so i'm double fisting walking through Epcot, <laughs> little bit of cold, little bit of hot, little bit of cold, little bit of hot. Then finally, halfway through the cold, I threw in the trash only yeah. because I'm, Jacob's like, you're not going to drink it. I'm like, I can't drink two of these things because I will. Um, but the memorabilia behind the coffee shop is, it looks like a library. It's old books. But in the glass, there's archives. They are on loan from Marceline Museum. There's a, oh, wow. there's a, there's a hat in there. There's a film camera and a bunch, a, an old Mickey plush, things like that. Receipts. Yeah. Those are actually Walt Disney products. Like he wore that hat on his head. After the guy said that I ran back and stared at that hat for five minutes. I'm like, this right, is such right. nostalgia. Wow. And, uh, lots of artwork, uh, uh, lots of photos on the walls, family photos of his. So you can really spend quite a bit of time in the hallways. And even upstairs, there are different paintings on the walls. And you can purchase a lot of those right in the gift shop. Mm -hmm. And lastly, about those things are if you walk along the wall or the hallway, along the wall that goes along, it'll lead you towards the restaurants. Uh, there are posters, French versions of Little Mermaid, Incredibles, wow. and some other things. So there's lots to see there as well. Very nice. Yeah, we'll have to definitely uh, take a take a trip over there. Yes. Thank you, Kathy, for all that helpful information. The last thing I'll say, I keep saying that, but the last thing I'll say about it also is there was... I'm going to ask you, because you like throwing questions at me, which I appreciate. Mm. I'm going to put you on the spot. <laughs> what, what, if anything, occupied Disney's Riviera Resort area before it was constructed? I wouldn't have a clue. And I love that I stumped you. <laughs> <laughs> Barbados in the, Mar the Barbados and Martinique sections of um, Caribbean Beach were there. Really? They so that was exist. even bigger than, than what, what it is now. Wow. Yes, yes. And they still exist, but they had to cut out chunks of it to make wow. room for Riviera. 
Wow. Didn't know that. That makes sense, though. Now that yeah. I'm looking at the map of where Riviera is compared to Caribbean Beach, yeah. Yes. Uh, so, yeah. I'm, I think they made a wise choice. For sure. Oh, both for us and financially, <laughs> they made a wise choice. <laughs> and Caribbean Beach is so big, they can cut into it again and make another resort. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. Please do. Please do. <laughs> we don't need that much Caribbean Beach. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. It's huge. Yes. All right. Well, well I, uh, I, I, I just want to say this. Everybody in the chat, throw some hearts in the chat for Corey uh, coming on and doing the show tonight. It's straining his voice. You know, I, I don't think he, he overdid it, hopefully. But uh, I just want to say I appreciate uh, everything that you do for this channel and for your family and for my family and the LID family. So I, I appreciate what, uh, what you do. Thank you so much, my friend. That's really heartfelt, and um, I appreciate that. Uh, I truly, truly, truly miss you all when I'm not there. You know, I even say, if Tammy has the stream too long, I miss you all. Like, I need you back. I'm like, what are they saying? I need to talk to them. And to be away from you all for a couple of days was really a tough decision. I, I knew the right decision from the get-go was to cancel, but they did appear to come up last minute because I really did hold out because I just didn't want to commit to that. And uh, I know brighter days are ahead. We're getting better. And um, I feel like maybe I talked a little too much, but I think between tomorrow, we should be good. The stream goes on no matter what on Saturdays because my main girl will take over as much as I need it. And uh, we can look forward to a nice long stream. And uh, yeah, Alicia says, I have been lost without you. Well, thank you. I appreciate all those hearts. Truly, 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 it's never a line. I love you all. And um, I'll tell you, uh, I'm proud of also the fact that, I'm not sure if we talked about this last week. And uh, let's see, Steve says, we all always appreciate you and the family. It's definitely, this is the best, I'll say it, I'll say it. This is the best community on Disney YouTube. I don't care. There, where do you see this much love? I don't care. Um, and much respect to the rest of them all out there, but this is our thing. Um, so again, you know, making priorities, I feel like, and I want to thank Lawrence. Let's, let's throw hearts out to Lawrence because we couldn't have done the stream to the level and the pod today to the level as we did as Lawrence has. And Lawrence has stepped up to help take off even just a little bit of the load on a weekly basis for me, um, for the channel to just help streamline it a little bit more so we can continue to bring the quality that I want to bring you all because I was definitely working way too long on the channel and Tammy's so good. You can throw some hearts out to throw some hearts out to Tammy too, because she's so good and so supportive. I know she'd rather have me out there spending more time with her, um, on a weekly basis, but when I'm not live, I'm in front of these computers trying to make the channel better all the time or just keep up with the level of what we do. And, you know, I finally pulled it out of her that I need to take a little more time off on those off nights. And I streamlined it. Um, it's working out well. I'm spending more time out there with the fam and I'm loving it. It's working. We're still able to bring everything. And Lawrence is also a big part of that in helping me just alphabetizing the... <laughs> The the LID club members is a is a such a time saver. So, um, yes, I appreciate you, my friend. Hey, same here, same here. It's uh, this is this is episode thirteen of a of a long, long time coming. So, um, I just appreciate being being a part of it and this uh, this community for sure. So, yeah, we definitely missed you Tuesday, Wednesday, and uh, glad we were able to do this today. Uh, I will also say one last thing. Sorry, um, Andy. Uh, I did see that Sammy's not feeling well. Hopefully, she uh, gets better quickly. Yes, yes. Get better. Get better, Sammy, for sure. Um, so, yeah, awesome show, my friend. Good job. Awesome, awesome to see everybody. And uh, this was this was a lot of fun. And uh, we'll we'll figure out what we're doing for next week. Yes. Um, oh, you know, and uh, Claudia should join us next week, hopefully. She had to cancel um, last minute. And uh, 
you know, we plan on having her on probably once a once a month too, or whatever. She's very happy to come on. And uh, yeah, let's just say this quickly. Make sure you check out our sponsors for sure. Uh, Victor Naraki, you can contact him at celebratingflorida at gmail.com. Um, you can also get him at Disney at your doorstep.com. And uh, Victor is, is the best guy out there, most knowledgeable for helping you gain information for buying a home in Florida right near the magic. And uh, definitely let him know that we sent you. And uh, we would appreciate that. If you're looking to buy a home, at least inquire with him and see, see what you can learn. Mm -hmm. And also with Claudia, Claudia can save you some money. I don't care who, who you are and <laughs> how much you think you know about Disney. Uh, her services are impeccable. She continues to save families hundreds of dollars where they may not have been able to see where they are. And a lot of our Diz fam, you all come down. And, um, you know, of course, if you already use a uh, travel agent, then we can respect that. But if you don't, just reach out for, to Claudia. Let her do her thing and see if you can gain an edge on your next Disney vacation for sure. And let her know that we sent you. How about that for an improv? <laughs> Love it. Love it. <laughs> Got to mix it up. Got to mix it up for sure. All right. It's uh, Patrick Mahomes and Lions time. All right. Here. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your evening, everyone. Thank you so much for being with us. I've got to unveil my shirt, uh, my Disney shirt, under my Disney shirt. And today we went with none other than Raiders. Mm -hmm. Raiders of the Lost Ark, Indiana Jones, classic poster. Bought this from Hollywood Studios. Oh, that's nice. Yes. That's nice. Was that at the uh, the indie pop-up store? No, I had this previously to that. So um, I could be lying, too. I definitely bought it on Disney property. Most likely it was at Hollywood Studios, though. Yeah. Tammy might remember. But, yeah, I think we covered it all. We did. did. All right. All right, everyone. Look forward to this Saturday's live at Hollywood Studios. We're going to have a ton of fun. We'll ride some rides. And uh, we'll do Fantasmic, and we'll do some shopping. I haven't been on Disney property <laughs> in forever. So, yes, I guess that's it. So, for these two Diz bros, you've been listening to the Diz Pod, everyone. We'll see you in the parks. Good night, everyone. Good night.